This is 2004, a podcast hosted by two guys who were alive in 2004, but weren't born that year. 2004, podcast on team, hosted by Jeff Andrew and Bobby DeVore. I'm Bobby DeVore. And uh, I want to talk about um, the story I read about this Marvel writer. Marvel? Uh, he, he wrote Star Wars. He wrote Star Wars novels and then he wrote Star Wars comic books for Marvel. Oh, uh, okay. The novels are disconnected from Marvel, but then he started writing comic books, uh, like Mar- Star Wars comics for, Nar- for Marvel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they're both owned by the same parent company yeah. now, so... Uh, which makes sense, I guess. Yeah. I think he wrote the novels before they were bought by Lucasfilm. I mean, before they were bought by Disney. Yeah. Uh, before but... Disney bought Lucasfilm. Yeah. Is it Lucasfilm or LucasArts? Or is Lucasfilm. that Lucasfilm. All... But didn't Lucasfilm own LucasArts? I don't know. Is LucasArts a... LucasArts is like the special effects and I think the video games. Yeah. I don't know. Also, I want those, like, old point-click adventure games. They do seem fun. Yeah, For nothing but praise for, like, old LucasArts games. Yeah, for real. They're all, like, real funny, too, and have a lot of, like, tongue-in-cheek humor. Yeah. Um, Yeah, I'd actually like to play some, to be honest. Yeah. Like, I watch a bunch of, like, video game list videos and shit on YouTube. I'm not even a gamer. Skew Attack. No. I just like... I just like trivia. So. Same. Yeah. I, I'm not a gamer either. Yeah, no. I would not call myself a gamer. Yeah, no, by no means. I do have, like, a knowledge of, like, some old video games. Same. I play, I play, I play games, but not yeah. enough to call myself a gamer. Yeah, I play games with the women I date. <laughs> I like to play with their minds. Yeah, you know, uh, I use the Leave them one and more. Yeah. Well, I already oh, den- don't one more. use the Dennis method. <laughs> that was a joke. It's essentially, rape. <laughs> no, it, it is. It's, it's literally rape. It's literally. Um, but like, I do. You know, most of the time when I do leave women, they do leave wanting more. <laughs> yeah. They leave wanting oars. Yeah. For some reason, they want oars. <laughs> yeah. Not like paddles, but like you know, like steel and other minerals. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was solid, man. Give me, give me a break on that one. Uh, he got yeah, fired. Yeah, because oars are generally. Oh solid. my god, he got fired by Marvel. <laughs> he got fired by Marvel. He talked about it on Twitter. Yeah. And the reason he was fired is that he, he has a very angry and political Twitter presence. Oh. Very. He's a like progressive. I don't know if he's a liberal, mm-hmm. but like he got fired mainly because he went because of Kavanaugh's being confirmed. Yeah. He went on a very angry rant on Twitter. It was uh, like, fuck the GOP, fuck all those rat fucks, fuck the rapists, fuck those frat bro- fat boys. And because of how angry and vulgar that was, he got fired. Jesus. Uh, and he's he's been known to get quite angry at like right-wing critics who are mad at stuff he does in comics and stuff. Like He introduced a gay character in one of his comics and mm-hmm. people were in his ass about it. Yeah. He didn't make it... Earlier, we were making jokes about people who get mad about diversity in comic books. <laughs> yeah. But, like... It's funny that you use the term in his ass about it, because they're... Cause blatant gay. homophobia. <laughs> <laughs> Which is and, the opposite of what you would think. Uh, and it, it was... It's... It's so stupid. Yeah. And, and like, the article I read also <laughs> explained that, um... Uh, they're mad at... It's not even the first time that a Marvel writer's gotten mad at a critic. Yeah. And has said some really mean shit to a critic. Yeah. Like, some critic and, like, some Marvel writer in 2013 said, I hope all my critics drown in their own piss or something like that. (laughs) Okay. So, they didn't fire him. Oh, that's fucked. But also, the guy who owns Marvel. Yeah. He's, like, like... Well, wait, you mean, like... He... Like, the head? Owns Marvel. What do you mean? Like, runs Marvel. But, like, not not the top of Disney. No, not the top of Disney. But, like, the Marvel yeah, top. Yeah, the Marvel yeah. top. Yeah. He uh, is apparently, like, friends with Trump. 
Mm. and runs the Department of Veterans Affairs or something. Really? Allegedly. I don't uh. know. And that might have been a reason. Yeah, no. His disrespect for the conservatives. Yeah. I hope not. <sighs> Dude. Uh, what sucks is, like, even if it is, there's nothing we could do. There's nothing that could be done about it because it's not a conflict of interest or anything. It's bullshit, though. It is bullshit. I mean, I think anybody that... It, he'll still... He'll probably... He said that he'll probably be all right anyway, so he can go back to just writing the novels, because that was his first love in the first place, but... And, well, he can... Can he publish the novels? How, yeah. How? Publishing company... The publishing company he was working for before he got hired by Marvel. That owns the rights? Or has the licensing to do Star Wars novels? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, no, okay. Um, so, like... So I wanted to say, like, I hate, like, people that get punished for things. I just, I think it's fucked up to, uh, you know, if you're not saying anything that's, like, you know, promoting violence or promoting illegal things. Yeah. I don't, I think it's really fucked up to get fired for your Twitter presence unless you're saying, like, spreading hate or, like, you know, something of the sort. But I would say that, like... Uh, that They fired him for sp- spreading hate against conservatives. But I don't consider that hate. I consider that uh, well-earned. Yeah, no. Like, as long as... And, and I would I would argue, like, you know, even, you know, conservatives would have that right. Uh, you know, if they're, you know, complaining about liberals, I guess. But, like, as long as it's not, like, you know, saying Let I want ask to if murder it, if it's, them. If it's messed up... Like, be a member, if you should deserve to get fired, if you were, like, a member of Antifa or something. Uh, You're, like, go beat some proud boy ass or something. Uh, but again, Antifa is mostly defensive. Yeah. They're but not also, really going there trying to cause violence. Yeah. But, they will be there to protest you when they know you're going to be there doing some bullshit. Yeah. But they're not going to, like, immediately get violent unless you provoke them. Yeah. Then they're violent. Yeah. But also, like, most Antifa people, like, you know, create, like, a, an anonymous presence. Yeah, they got, they don't really, they're probably not tweeting about it. Yeah. yeah. Well, they did get that one dude. Did you ever hear about the dude that, like, uh, like, really fucked that other guy up with a bike lock? Yeah. Uh, he got, like, fired and all this shit. They, like, doxed him and everything. Um, which was, like... The only people that deserve to get doxed are cops. Yeah. <laughs> Ice... Uh, ICE members. Mm-hmm. Anybody that's out there doing like really fucked up shit. Anyone that works for ICE. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, you know, if I don't know, man. Doxing is like. Hi, I'm Doxy. <laughs> remember that? Yeah, I remember that. That was a great meme. Also, I w- I went back. This is other like memes related to women. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Related content. Um, I uh, like a month ago. I binge watched like all of uh, America's Next Top Model. <laughs> okay. I watched it as a kid. Yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. like a nostalgic thing, really. I get you. And uh, you know that girl who had that meme where where she like it was a big big blue eyed uh, blonde girl. In like nosebleeds, loosely. Do you remember that? No. They called her Creepy Chan or something like that. Barely. It sounds vaguely familiar. Uh, yeah, it was big, blue-eyed, um, blonde girl. She appeared mm-hmm. on Next Next Top Model like twice. She appeared on her original season, then she appeared in like an All Stars version. Oh, uh, okay. And uh, I just remember seeing her on the show. She came out was a bit weird, mm-hmm. not too weird. The, the weird thing the guy that like even inspired the meme was that she said something on the show where she was like, "Oh, I, I think uh, nosebleeds are beautiful, and I wish I could get one or something like that." Oh, had she never had a nosebleed? No. No, oh, that's crazy. That's what she said. Yeah. Uh, I don't understand that. That's kind of weird. If she wants a nosebleed, just sit in a high seat at a concert. Oh. Yeah. 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 That, that joke wasn't funny. Yes, it was. Uh, chalk one up for Bobby. Uh, That's right not, there. You don't get points when my I jokes fail. I get points fail. when your jokes fail. That is man. no... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude. point system here. Yeah, yeah, it is, man. No, it isn't. I just don't get a point. Yeah. You don't get a point when I my I get fail. a point when you fail. That's not how it works. Because you won't stop giving me shit about <laughs> that bad jokes. Whatever, man. 
Don't right. burp during the show. <laughs> Man, I try not to. Actually, look her up. Look who up? Uh, put in Creepy John. See, maybe. Uh, hold on. I gotta get this. Uh, I'm playing with my earbud, and I got. I took the earbud off, and I had to. Or the little squishy part off, and I had to get it back on. Uh, was it Creepy Chan? I actually. I think I know Creepy Chan. I said on YouTube. Oh. Well, sorry. Well, doesn't she do, like, weird shit online anyway? She's a model. But she does, like, this weird, creepy shit online. Right? Those, that was years ago. This video is legitimately uncomfortable. What? Cody Co? Yeah, well, like... The video of Cody Co is... Uh, well, not that, not the video, but the videos that he's showing. Yeah, yeah. That's those are uncomfortable. Together. Oh, I do know what you're talking about. Uh, I think I saw some clip of her, of the game flirting with her. During oh, the, the competition, game? yeah. Really? Hold up, that's kind of cool. Look up Allison Harvard, that's her real name. The game. Uh. The first one. Oh, really? Okay. That's interesting. Oh, shit. Mm. Yeah. She's got a lot less tattoos than this. She doesn't have tattoos. No, she does. The oh, game. yeah. Aw. Game's a sweetheart. <laughs> Let's see. Go to the comments and see what he did. Hold up. How many say he hit Hold that? <laughs> he might have. What's a game on America's Next Top Model? I don't know. Celebrity appearances. <laughs> That's weird, man. They make them sing? <laughs> I mean, she's lip syncing. Oh. Uh. Yeah, dude. He's, like, got some weird, like, like tiny white girl fetish. I don't say tiny white girl fetish. He may, he may be attracted to her. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got a point. It'll make it a fetish. Okay. You, you consider your attractions fetishes? No. Every single attraction I have is a fetish <laughs> for the person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, she did sing. Okay, that's weird. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This song was about her dead father. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the game game is trying to fuck. Yeah, he probably is. <laughs> yeah. The. Yeah, no, there's like a. It's all just like I ship them. He likes her. It's so also much. mainly women. Yeah, that's not surprising to me. Why is that? Why is that surprising to you? I don't know. It's on YouTube comments. I expect dudes being assholes mainly. Yeah, um, there's a lot of just like, you know. Yeah. Really, just uh, people just want them to fuck. <laughs> like, I guess, man. I'd be, you know, I don't know, man. That's cute. Do the thing. Um. Yeah. What about her though? That's it. Oh, you just brought her up because memes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. So like, has dude like, uh, has there been backlash against? It's probably not backlash against dude like, Marvel. There is backlash against Marvel. Yeah. For, for the decision, yeah, there is. Like, like on comics Twitter. Oh, okay. Not the. Not, there's all right. There's Comicsgate Twitter, and then there's regular Comics Twitter. What's Comicsgate Gamergate. Remember Gamergate? Yeah. That, but for any, comics. Any gate you can just associate with, like, shit people. It, it's just like the, the I hate the diversity. Yeah. Like, women are ruining comics. That, it's the same shit as Gamergate, but for comics. It's and it's clubbing. But except comics is going to it right now. Like, Gamergate yeah. was a couple years ago. Yeah. Comics is going to it right now. <laughs> comics... No, uh, comics has a long history. No, I'm surprised yeah. it took this long for it to happen. Yeah, like, I, I feel like this has been, like, a it's long coming. But conservative and, like, sexist and racist comics writers, yeah. it goes, it's a long history there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, like, uh, a lot of people make fun of... 
I think, you know what really probably started it? What? Uh, Amy Schumer getting a show. Or, like, not even Amy Schumer getting a show, getting movie deals. I don't think that started anything. I don't think it started. I, well, I, think, I think it's it started her feminist, the, like... the feminist humor that she presented on uh, Inside Amy Schumer. See, I don't even know. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess you're right about that. That That's, like, if anything, it's... That's only kind of there on in her stand-up. Yeah. Like, the stuff that... The humor... Humor on her... In her stand-up in Inside Amy Schumer is not one-to-one. No, at all. not at all. Her stuff is a lot, a lot darker and, like, sexually charged in yeah. her stand-up. Yeah. It's almost borderline, uh, like, shock humor. Very and, much and, like a New York comedian-style uh, sense of humor. I, I would go so far as to sometimes call it shock humor. No, I remember she opened up a stand-up album by going, too bad he has AIDS. So, yeah. Like, it is kind of, it's stuff yeah. like that. It's, like, edgy humor. Yeah. But it's it's different when you're a woman and you become, like, sexual. Because, no, I'm saying that that is, like, more edgy than a dude comic. Okay. Yeah. Sorry to saying that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, she's talking about, you know, She having... being very blunt about her sex life, stuff like that. Y- yeah. Well, like, her fantastical sex life. Yeah. Her, like, more, like, I guess, like, hypothetical sex life. Well, she's not... Uh, I'm not gonna... You're just saying... I'm not saying that all the sexual encounters happened. But, I'm, uh, yeah, she does talk about her own sex life. You're acting like it didn't happen. Like, she just made up every part well, of it. We don't know all of it. We don't know the extent of it. Yeah, but, like... So, like, you know, we, we can't say that this happened when this didn't, or... Or this didn't happen, and this did, or this happened, or whatever. You know? Yeah, some of it is jokes, but I'm pretty sure it's a, I would, I would a good assume, amount of it is yeah, based some on of actual is, life. Yeah. Uh, probably not. Same like, thing with dudes. They make up shit all the time. Oh, yeah, sex life, so don't. Like, they do that in their own personal life. Not exactly. Even, like, you know. Um, but yeah, dude, I, I don't know. It's real weird. Like, there's a lot of... I mean, people have always been against, like, women comics... You know, dudes have always like they got them. mad because her, her the humor on her show was feminist. <clears throat> yeah, and really? and the fact that she started getting successful and started appearing everywhere. Yeah, it was like this whole like oh they're cramming her down our throat type of thing. But like yo, know, she's been in the game for a long time. Like I was I happy. wish I was really happy when she got. I'm a fan of her, Amy. Like movie deal. I'm a fan of Amy. Yeah, like before the show yeah. in the first two seasons of the show. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I stopped watching Around the Dirt. I can't. I don't remember how much of it I watched. All I really remember is the uh, courtroom sketch. The Or wasn't that an entire episode? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I thought that the was... The 12 Angry Man parody? Yeah, I thought that was really good. Yeah, that was good. Um, um, you know, some people on Twitter are like... Uh, I believe she's a, a feminist. Yeah. I believe she... Uh, Believes in what she does. Like, she protested the Kavanaugh, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I don't think her voice is as political as she's tried to make it been since she became really popular. Yeah. Her comedic voice. Uh, uh, what do you mean, her comedic voice? Her comedic voice isn't as political as she's made, she's made it out to be since she became, like, a movie star and stuff like that. Her comedic voice or her, like, overall voice? Like... Her comedic voice. She's a comedian, so her comedic voice, yes. <laughs> I don't know about... Well, like, comedic voice seems to be, like, something... Her comic persona is not as political as she's made it to be since she's yeah, became okay. a comic. Yeah, I get you. I get you now. That that terminology, or that verbiage, was kind of, like, fucking with my brain. I just thought... It didn't make sense to me. Like, and I feel like some of it was influenced more by her sister. Her sister, like, wrote on her show... Oh, yeah. No, I remember that. She had, like, wasn't, like, the end sort of, uh, it was, like, the their production company or whatever. Oh, I forget had, what it's called. But it had, like, a photo of, of the, her and the her sister, yeah. Yeah, and it was always, like, some weird, it was, like, funny. Yeah. Like, it was, like, a contrasting thing for yeah. them. Like, one was doing this, the other was doing the opposite type of gag. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, we need to, we need to talk about, uh... Sister, sister, uh... Do you see this Up Next video? Hold up. For this Allison Harvard in a game? It says, America's Next Top Model 17, how the fuck did Allison win? 
It's didn't, a 43 minute video. Didn't. Oh, didn't win. Yeah. Oh. Still, 43 minutes? <laughs> Jeez. Dude, people have opinions, man. But also, Damn. I mean, I feel like you could get 43 minutes worth of content from, you know, an entire season. If you're season. interested enough, you probably could. It's an could. entire season. And all the episodes are an hour long. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so there's content there. There you, is. You would probably need that long to make that argument. Yeah. Um, like, uh, but I think that, like, because if you look at her stand-up, like, a lot of her stand-up... I saw her stand-up got worse the more popular she got. That's, you know, that's true for a lot of people, I would say. I wouldn't say everybody. I would just Not say. everybody, but, like, a, a, I would probably argue the majority. I feel like that happens to a lot of people. I feel like, you know, celebrity kind of makes you lose your edge sometimes. Sometimes. In her case, yeah, I think it did. Mm-hmm. Cause she. Well, also, she had so much shit going on, it was hard for her to work. Honor comedy, I would assume her. Yeah, stand-up but I'm too, not. But like, I'm not making excuses for it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, like it can be. It, it's still unfunny. Like, don't do it if you don't think you have the material. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah. Um. You know, despite the deals you may get, you know. Yeah. I would. I would rather see somebody, you know, turn down the money to do a good, like, set. Than, exactly. You know, take the money and. The leather special, just wasn't funny. Yeah. I see. I had already kind of like stopped thinking Amy Schumer's stand up was funny before that. <clears throat> like, was it a previous special? Yeah. That previous special wasn't that great either. Like it. Because she found her niche, or not even her niche, she found her shtick, I yeah. guess, what worked for her. And what worked for her was that, like, you know, raunchy humor. And yeah. I. That's why cut, I think cutting is one of the funnier, like, comedy albums I heard. Which one is that? That's the... The material that's on her comedy album cutting is the same material that's in her comedy special mostly sex stuff. Okay. So it's like... That was probably the last one that I thought was like, you know, good. Yeah. And even that, I didn't think. Because... And I, I think around the same time I started to get away from that like, you know, Nick DiPaolo like sort of comedy. That like gross raunchy comedy. I, was starting to get on my nerves. I still think that shit's funny. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm not going to kid you. Some of if it's, it's done right, all comedy yeah. can be done right and be funny. Yeah, but like... You can be the total opposite of that. You don't have to be a New York comic and be all, yeah. all raunchy or I, telling it like it is and still be very funny. Yeah, like I I think for me, like the oversaturation of yeah. that sort of shit yeah. made it just lose it for me. Like yeah. it was funny... At first, when I was like twelve years old, and I also like, really don't think Nick Apollo's that funny. Yeah, no, I just use him as an example. Yeah, it's the first comedian. I've never found him that funny. Head. Like, I didn't even think uh, Patrice sometimes was all that funny, because some of his shit just got a little like he, you know, you push too much of that gross shit, and it just doesn't do it for me. Yeah. It, like, you know, there's only so much of that I can take. And, like, if yeah, that's I your still, entire act, like, I still it gets find old. Patrice funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I mean, I do too, but it's like. Elephant yeah. in a Room is still one of the funniest special that I've seen. Um, but, like, I just. Some of that shit. That shit gets old for me quick. Because, uh, you know, growing up a teen. Like, you know, fucking. That's the humor me and my dude bro friends used to do. You know? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I look back on it with that same disgust, but, like, you know. Like, you had a different set of friends in high school than I did. You know? Like, I, I had... we, I did theater. Yeah. And they were still the same people. <laughs> it's not, but, like, it's not, they had a little more... They were not the same type of douchebag that you hung out with. They had a little more culture. Because they did theater. I would say so. <laughs> we were all drinking wine in the, yeah. in, the, in the basement of the high school before we went on the <laughs> high school stage to perform Annie. <laughs> like, what? They had, like... We were listening to opera. <laughs> yeah, <had> opera. <laughs> Not culture in that type of way. We were like... playing piano ditties. <laughs> we, did, am... we did have a piano in a men's uh, dressing room. Really? Yeah. Smelled am... straight like balls, too. <laughs> The man's dressing room, not the piano. <laughs> you smell. Though that the does piano. seem like a thing that somebody would do. Like, uh, though it is something somebody would do. Was like that. The difference in your voice taking that headphone out. I'm, we're, I'm, I'm trying to communicate to Javon like silently, but dude was getting loud. That is something somebody would do. Was like rub their balls. Really? On the seriously? <laughs> they didn't do oh, that. But did. it was like something somebody would do. 
Somebody probably did. Somebody that. did. They, like right before we were supposed to do a show, somebody purposely took a shit in the toilet that we <laughs> that we had in there. They had yeah. a bathroom in the men's dressing room. Was it just like one one stall or something? Yeah. Oh, okay. Somebody <laughs> purposely did it just to fuck people. <laughs> fuck people. I mean, they probably had to take a shit. They did it also to fuck with people. Well, they probably... Ah, man. Maybe that was... No, uh, they legit said that. So don't... uh, uh, (laughs) You don't know what happened. (laughs) Yeah, but I'm saying, like, uh, poop is not something that you can just make yourself do. Yeah, but there's one upstairs that's not near everybody that they could have taken. uh, And they chose that one on uh, purpose. Yeah, (laughs) Well, it probably... Did it help? Huh? Did it help the show? What? No. Did the show go on better? (laughs) I don't remember what the show was like. But oh, okay. I remember that they fucked the people by doing that. <laughs> um, dude, fucking... <sighs> Did I ever... So there used to be rumors... Then again, about... I'm talking about like a lot of the straight guys. There were gay guys that didn't do all the immature shit. Yeah, but yeah. The straight guys did that shit hard. Um, there was a rumor uh, back when I was in high school about my high school swim team. Uh-huh. And like they used to always say they used to like... Uh, mermaids. <laughs> you remember uh, Aquamarine? Do you remember that uh, like Nickelodeon special? Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that movie. That's yeah. what it, it was like. That, but they were the dudes in the swim team. Uh, <laughs> no, um, they used to. There used to be this rumor about them uh, pantsless jousting. Like they would like get erections and. Like, and then they would that was towards each other. Yeah, that was the rumor. Um, I don't know how much of that was true, but they did a lot of like, you know, uh, that, that the sort of shit that in high school you would have called gay, but they did it because it was like homoerotic. On purpose? Yeah, it was like straight dude homoerotic, like joking. Yeah, there's a part of every like, like gay, of straight dudes making gay jokes that is actually technically gay. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like I think I feel like it's a big part of it. Like, I, I remember uh, there was one, there was one dude. Dude, you keep on saying shit like that, and I'm gonna suck your dick. Like that joke. <laughs> yeah, is kind of gay. gay. <laughs> like both, not not only in the haha it's gay way, but also kind of legitimately. Gay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're like, you know threatening to perform a, <laughs> yeah. a like sex act on some If you keep on talking like that, bro, I'm a fuck your dad. <laughs> like <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> um so like there is this one dude in my group of It's friends. a mess messed up that I still think, you know how I know you're gay from 20 40 year old virgin is still funny. What's the joke? I don't remember it. Oh, uh, I think it's What's Seth his Rogen. name? <sighs> it's Seth Rogen, right? I think Seth Rogen's in the scene. I think the other one's um Paul Rudd. Yeah, Paul Rudd. And they're going they're playing video games and they're yeah. like, you know how I know you're gay? <laughs> like that's it. <laughs> yeah. And it's like a they're both just doing that back and forth. But what was the there's like one really good joke. I don't remember. Oh, you don't remember it? But I think that's often cited as like the most bro y like yeah. and problematic part of a Forty Year Old Virgin. Yeah, but also that's who those dudes are. Yeah, those like, who those characters movie. are. Yeah, exactly. So I think like, there, it's, I, I still just think it's funny. I'm yeah. sorry. Um, it's not promoting that no. type of behavior. It's no. just, you know, a joke that those characters make. Um, but, like, there was this dude in my group of friends in high school that uh, he used to, like, cuddle. Oh, shit. Hold up, dude. Let me talk. He used to cuddle, like, at, like, when we'd stay the night at people's house. He would always with try to cuddle. a wood plank? No, he plank? would try to cuddle with one of us. Always. Oh. And he thought it was hilarious, but he also continued to do it. But he would also give me shit for wearing skinny jeans and shit. Like, yeah. You should get in contact with him. Nah, I'm good. Find out who his, who his boyfriend is. No. <laughs> like, <laughs> Dude, he has, a, he has a kid he doesn't take care of. Also, uh, he is a piece of shit. Yeah, he All is right. a piece of shit. He actually, he went from being like an alty skate bro to when he lost con or when all of our skate bro friends kind of dropped him he went from being this like skate bro dude to turning into a redneck because that's the group he got accepted into he was a middle child like people pleaser like type of that makes total sense yeah i feel like most half of i mean skaters are a lot of white guys for the most part yeah not all not all of them are white guys we had a mexican dude yeah. In our crew. I'm not saying that all skaters are white guys. 
That was but that was about it. That's an easy that I, that t- makes total sense. What the jump? Yeah. To redneck. Yeah. Yeah, in our area. If if you're like too broke or too dumb to be like a preppy kid. And also there there were kids in the theater department who were rednecks. Like really, not like not like redneck rednecks, but like drove a tractor rednecks. Like I love country music type of rednecks. Yeah, I don't know like like. Like sensitive rednecks, not like dirty redneck. Like comes to school dirty and wearing like nothing but dirty clothes, like uh, mud covered clothes. Like a uh, yeah, like what I imagine the equivalent of like overalls with no shirt. Working class like coats. Oh, car jackets. Covered. Uh, or like uh, what's it called? I don't know. I mean coveralls. No, the the uh, the thing in the army. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what it's called. Don't ask, don't tell policy. No. Uh, <laughs> it's not a thing anymore. Uh, I know. Uh, they just outright ban gays now. Uh, <laughs> the camouflage. Camo. Dude. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, I knew exactly what you were talking about, though. I just wanted to let you have a little more time. I hate you. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. But like muddy boots. Where where's his uh his um like he's gonna be like a suburban dad type <laughs> I don't know how to describe he had a thick sudden accent a thick yeah southern, okay yeah I actually uh oddly enough I ran into I didn't run into him but uh I didn't expect to see this kid that I went to high school with who had his own lawn mowing company I saw him at the library oh my god what. Nothing. Nah. What? Nothing. What? That's a, that's a Midwestern cliche. What? Lawn mower company. <laughs> no, like, he, like... He I know. Lawn, he mowed lawns. I know. He made a lot of money doing yeah. that. Yeah. Like, he had a truck and a trailer. But, and it, a, is, but it is a cliche. What do you mean, like, a... Uh, pause. Like... <laughs> Damn. My earbud fell straight out of my ear. I mean, that's good money, though. Oh, yeah. No, dude was making, like, two or three grand a week or something. He just, like... I mean, granted, his parents, like, kind of helped him. Yeah. You know, get his feet off the ground. But he did... uh, He would, like... He just started mowing people's lawns in, like, seventh or eighth grade and just, like, kept making enough money to, like, do it and do it and do it and buy his own lawnmower trailer and shit and would just... I know rednecks that... uh, I mean... What was he like? He was just like a big old loaf. Big old good old boy. Just stupid though. Just like, he was stupid? Just dumb shit. Like you could probably trick him into eating something out of the trash. Type <laughs> dumb. <laughs> like, <laughs> like if you gave him like a few bucks. He it's would like that family guy gag. Is that my... Ho- you couldn't tell your, uh, your ass from a hole in the ground? Yeah. <laughs> I still love that gag. I know it's like an actual phrase but it still yeah. makes me laugh. Peter looking out at the ground going, is that my ass? <laughs> it's still funny to me. Yeah, no, he was a dumbass. Like, uh, just a dumb kid. Would he do anything for you? He would help you. Like, he he was a genuinely, like, nice dude. Yeah, that's... Just stupid, though. That's a lot of times where I've met rednecks that even I know that would do anything for you, but still make racist jokes. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> and not... And, yeah. and be like befuddled and why you would like be a Black Lives Matter supporter or yeah. something. Yeah. You know, like, they just don't, they're not smart enough. Yeah, I don't, you're not together. introspective and you don't think about things ever, do you? No, <laughs> like, dude, I actually, fuck, dude. I, we knew this kid, uh, what was, uh, uh, what's that dude with the puppets? He was uh, like, Jeff Dunham. Yeah, what was the Jeff Dunham puppet that was the redneck? What was that? What was that? Fucking I dude? forgot. I know the characters. You know look, what I'm talking about? Yeah. Look it up. Uh, was it like Buddy? On okay. YouTube. Uh, what the fuck? Jeff Dunham Redneck. Dunham. Bubba. Was it Pete? No, it was a uh, Bubba J. Yeah, it was Bubba J. Um, so this dude literally looked like Bubba J. Like, are you sure it's Bubba? No, I'm a hundred percent. Oh no, I just I hit the wrong one, man. My yeah. bad. That's what happened. It's showing the Christmas special now. <laughs> oh my god, remember when it was like 500 of those specials? <sighs> yeah. God, car- 
You like, remember when like, Comedy Central gets taken over by comics or used to? I don't yeah. think I've seen that happen well, in a while. I mean, uh, Jeff Dunham, uh, the blue collar guys. Yeah. Um, uh, Carlos Mencia. Carlos Mencia, yeah. Um, well, just, no, it was no. Like, I was about to say Dave Chappelle. I mean, other than his show in the Killing Me Softly special. Yeah. Well, he, went, he didn't take he over because he didn't have that many specials. On yeah, the he network. left. Yeah, you know. Um, but this dude literally. Or like, remember when uh, Kathy Griffin took over at Bravo? Yeah, I so remember, like yeah. five five specials in a year. Yeah, from Bravo. some shit like that, and she had her own show. Yeah, like several shows. She had yeah. Life on the D-List, and then she got that talk show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, like Kathy Griffin's like really popular with gay people, I guess. I don't know the, the, then. Yeah, I don't know then. if she's still that not, popular. Probably not now. You know, it's weird about... Kathy Griffin's not as bad as Chelsea Handler. I don't know about that. Chelsea Handler... She Chelsea made, Handler was funny, though. Mm-hmm. Like, Chelsea Handler was just they funny. They both could be funny. Yeah. I'm not saying... I'm talking about... I'm talking about something I noticed on Twitter. Oh, okay. Like, she made some joke about Lindsey Graham being gay. Who did? Uh, Chelsea Handler. Okay. She says, You conservatives are mad that it's National Coming Out Day. I'm looking at you, Lindsey Graham. Oh. And I'm like... Like... And gay people on Twitter are like, No, we don't do that. Like, making homophobic jokes, trying to shame conservatives with your gay jokes or whatever. Yeah, it's like... Trump's gay for Putin. Yeah, it's like, it's not thing. clever. It's no. not funny. It's Stop hacky. doing it. Yeah. It's problematic. It's weird it's seeing, like, these, worse. It's these women that are considered, like, gay icons do it. Yeah, they're straight. I don't know if Chelsea group. Handler's considered a gay icon, but she has a sizable gay, gay fan base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bette Midler, who is legitimately considered a oh, gay icon, yeah, I, she made a, yeah. a Trump's gay for Putin joke, and I'm like... Oh, didn't she also, like, say... She, yeah, well, but it women like, are the nigger of the world. Yeah, but she didn't say the N word. She just posted it. She yeah. said the N word. Yeah, like, like verbatim in hyphen word. Yeah, uh, but like, do you know if she was just like quoting the John Lennon song? She was really. Yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't know if it was like. It still doesn't. It's yeah, still no, bad. It's still fucked. It's like, still a bad don't. comparison. Yeah, it's a terrible. It was comparison. bad when he did it. Exactly. <laughs> like, and he said the N word. Yeah, in the song. Yeah. Also, it was like what the seventies at that yeah. point. Uh. But, like, this kid looked like Bubba J. Like, to the point where he got, like, a name tag tattoo that said Bubba J on him. On tattoo? Yeah. And he was just, like, this big old red. Did he think Jeff Denham was going to be forever? (laughs) No, it was just because he looked like him so hard. I know. Like, that was his nickname. I know, but still. Like, I don't think I knew his actual name. But still, did he think Jeff Denham was going to be forever? You got to think about the future. (laughs) Jeff Denham isn't forever. This dude didn't think past, like tomorrow all right this dude like it, it, he used to was like, I wrong was, for liking the the blue collar stuff when i was a kid no i don't because that's just wholesome that's Not, just pretty wholesome except for ron white ron white is like the only the only legit good, good one yeah of them. i would argue bill ingwall is up there he's like under i don't think he's that funny oh rank him rank him for me personally yeah, for the four rank the four top to bottom um, Ron White, yeah, is number one for sure. He the same on my bracket. Larry, Larry for number two. Really? Yeah. Really? Then Bill? Then Jeff? Then Jeff? Then Bill? Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, even though I knew, I knew like Jeff was the boss even as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> He's the boss. <laughs> <laughs> there were gang. There were three I, of them. Originally. Yeah. Yeah. And Jeff was the boss. <laughs> yeah. And then there was Bill and uh, Larry. Yeah. <laughs> and then Ron White was a late addition. He's the one that showed up occasionally when he yeah, felt like it. Yeah. <laughs> he was, uh, he, he uh, showed up late and drunk. <laughs> yeah. That was him. That was yeah. his bit. Uh, he was the one that felt like a true comic. The others felt like gimmicks. No, yeah, you're right. I mean, legit, Larry is an entirely a gimmick. But yeah, he is an entirely gimmick. He's a character. Yeah. Um, but, like, I, you know, Ron White... For me, it was Ron White, Bill, Larry, Jeff. Um, Because I don't think Jeff's funny. I don't think Jeff Foxworthy was ever funny. Um, I do have a real... I don't know. In my observation of of Rednecks, Mm -hmm. sometimes I thought they were pretty funny. Who? Huh? Who, Rednecks or Jeff? The Redneck jokes. Oh, oh. That he would tell. Yeah. Just because, you know, 
I grew up around rednecks. Yeah, and so that, do you. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I actually I was trying to say that I have a uh, I have a really good you might be a redneck joke. All right, do it. Uh, you might be a redneck. You Don't guys, do it. Do it out the accent. Okay. You might be a redneck if you think hauling ass is taking your mother-in-law shopping. Or it was something along the lines of like driving your mother-in-law. So we did. You did two comedy cliches right there. What? What? Oh you did yeah, yeah. A redneck yeah. joke. Yeah. I did a so you th- you yeah, might be you a might redneck. be a redneck joke so and a mother-in-law can, joke. Yeah. So you think you can redneck joke? Is what <laughs> <I did. laughs> um, but uh, yeah. Uh, but this I, kid, this kid used to like, dude. This dude would literally be in public and yell "white power." And, as like, a joke. Oh, for real. It was like a... <laughs> Did he were straight up hanging a racist? <laughs> it was like a joke, but it wasn't. Like, this dude would be cool with black people. But he would also make, like, comments like that. Like, he would, like, help black people out. Like, he had black friends, like, in class and stuff. But, like, he wouldn't take them home. I've probably talked about this on the podcast. Maybe. I had a friend yeah. who, you know, Joined who thought it was okay to say the N-word. Oh. And then I explained to him over the course of a period while it's not okay. Like one school period? Yeah. And yeah. he was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Was it like, uh, are you saying like like hard R? Or like yeah. soft A? Hard R. Really? Yeah. Like would call black people hard R in words? Not, not, not all black people, but he was like... There's black people. And then there's niggers. Yeah. yeah. He did uh, the he did uh, the Chris Rock bit. Uh the, the regrettable uh, Chris Rock bit. So, I have a question about that. So, like, first off, I do. I just want to, uh, I feel like, obligated to say that uh, 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 Donald Glover's Black People and Vampires bit, hilarious. That was great. I thought that was really good. Um, also, very, like, very much so what she probably would have done as a kid with that. What? The well, you got black pie, you got black people, then you got vampires, <laughs> like, <laughs> um, but like, uh, is that the tart? Is that the tight blue shirt special? That's what I call it because I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> weirdo, yeah, yeah, yeah. The name of it's weirdo, but the tight blue dude, he also okay. First off, his Comedy Central presents, he had a tight blue shirt on, different shade of blue, though, it was a darker blue, <laughs> yeah, that's weird, yeah. Had the skinny it was jeans. the same day. <laughs> it was the same day. <laughs> got to record the Comedy Central Presents, and then I got to do the same material on a special. <laughs> no, it was different material, though. I barely remember. Oh, um. Didn't he have three Comedy Central shows? No. Specials? No. Was it just. I think presents? it was Comedy Central Presents and then the. Weirdo? Yeah, Weirdo. Oh, okay. Um. So. Did, how did black. Like, how do black people look at that now? What? Speak for your entire race, Javon. And exp- <laughs> but, like, how is that looked at in the black community now? Like, was that... Is that regrettable? Or was that, like... When you say the reg- regrettable Chris Rock bit, was that the, like, white people making... I mean, he regrets it. Oh, really? And Because white people used it. Oh, okay. Yeah. But wasn't his just, like, a... Was his, like, a using white logic type of... No. Joke? Oh, okay. No. It was probably uh, that's just what I was like, thinking, but like, re- kind of rude in some respectability politics type shit. Yeah, yeah. The type of thinking uh-huh. that he probably regrets now. Oh, I'm sure. Because Chris Rock's a good dude. Yeah. Like ultimately, Chris Rock has like you know good roots. Yeah. Have you seen his last special? No. It's mostly about his divorce and how he admits he was a piece of shit for cheating on his wife and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, that's that's good. That's personable. Yeah, that's that's uh, admirable, admirable. Yeah, that's commendable. Stop it. <laughs> that's amendable. Did I tell you I like kept trying to say commendable for like a good like two month period and kept saying amendable. Like that's the same word. Like amendable is like something that can be made. Mandibles. <laughs> Danimals. <laughs> Man nipples. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's yogurt with man's nipples in it. <laughs> Eat it like chips. Chewy, chewy, meaty chips. Do you, do you remember when uh, it was on? Fam- it was like early seasons of Family Guy, and like 
Peter gets Chris's like wish made. Yeah. And he like puts pepperonis on them, and they're like extra nipples or something. Oh. No, oh, okay. That's just what that. Also, and it also made me. Think I think about... of another Family Guy joke that was funny. Uh, what? Uh, like Peter Chris is trying to like get back at Peter for something, uh-huh. and he puts a hat like two logs where if he grabs the hat, the it will smash his face. Oh uh, yeah. And he grabs the hat, and his face is smashed. We see his face all smashed up and bloody, and he's yeah. like. I got my hat. <laughs> Still <here. laughs> Um I was also going to bring up the uh, whitest kids you know. Uh, pepperoni nipples. Oh, that was yeah. funny. <laughs> the Domino's pepperoni yeah. nipples. <laughs> we, can't, we cannot keep on doing comedy bits we think are funny. Yeah, I know. We could do that all day, though. Yeah. <laughs> Is the sad thing. Um, oh, so we'll talk about the Iggy. Nope, not Iggy. Uh, Azalea Banks uh. <laughs> and Lana Del Rey. <laughs> Dude, I, you know, I, I'm glad that both of their careers were short-lived enough for them to not do a collab. But yeah. also, that was a really missed opportunity. What? The collab between Azalea Banks and Iggy Azalea. Uh, Iggy Azalea Banks. I don't think she would have done it. Who? Uh, Azalea Banks. Yeah, no, she's the reason we call her Igloo. Or <laughs> Mayonnaise Australia, right? Mayo Australia? I don't know. But that's She's the reason. I'm pretty sure she is, man. I think she tweeted that. Called her Igloo Australia. I don't know. Uh, Azalea Banks, uh, all right, started another feud with Lana Del Rey, because Lana Del Rey, in the comments of Kanye West's Twitter, I mean Instagram, after he posted that picture of him with the MAGA hat, yeah, he posted something about stop supporting a racist, misogynistic president. And then uh, Azalea Banks on Twitter screenshotted it and went, you're not a white ally. You've never done anything for black people. Shut up. Don't criticize him. And then um, they're just like this. There's now a feud between them. Yeah. Where, uh, where like Lana Del Rey saying shit like, you know my Addy, pull up or something like that. <laughs> or I will not fuck you the fuck up and stuff like that. Yeah. And it's like, it's hilarious. I don't expect this from Lana Del Rey. I feel like Lana Del Rey, dude, if we were to like place bets... My money would be on Lana. I would probably put my money on Lana because I'm on her side more than I am on Azalea Banks. Yeah, but like, I feel like Lana Del Rey could kick Azalea Banks. I don't, even, I don't like either of their music, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm not super. I li- okay, actually. Ooh. Well, I only know the one Azalea, Azalea Banks, Banks song. has one song that I like. She only has, and it's the same one. Is it's it the two only, one, too? Yeah, it's the only one I know. Yeah. Also, the video is kind of cool. It is. It's like well shot. Yeah. Um, I, I I do. I will say that Lana. You ever Del seen Rey, that picture of uh, of Zelia Banks at that fashion show where she wore shorts that are up her butt? <laughs> was it? I thought that was in the video. No. I thought she had like. I thought her ass was eating her shorts in the video. Yeah. No. I, I didn't see that. <laughs> Dude, uh, I, I'm something a- something about talking about is. Azalea Banks uh, ass eating. What happened? <laughs> Siri popped up. Oh, that's what I was laughing at. Siri, On your computer? Yeah, yeah. Because I said something about Azalea Banks short or her ass eating her shorts. <laughs> Somehow it picked up Siri. Like, I don't understand that. Stop oh, saying I actually said yeah, Siri at that time. Um, uh, stop <laughs> saying it. <laughs> okay, I have it. Uh, yeah, I clicked out of it now. So that was weird. I forget it does that. I never use it. Maybe it wants it wants to show you that. <laughs> I was hoping it would like Google search Azalea Banks ass eating shorts. That's what I'm about to look up. <laughs> that's also that's a joke that doesn't get old for me. What? When somebody like my I remember this one time my dad took me to the skate park before I like really skated and uh, I'm trying to find it. And he uh, there's this dude who was like skating and he was wearing his like his skate pants probably which um, are like hold on which are like the uh you know the pants you wear like do you have a, you have fuck it pants right what pants fuck what it you pants. wear no, no 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 you know like you have that one pair of pants you don't care about yeah they've already like got rips in them so you wear them to do yard work or whatever yeah, yeah. um it was probably the dude's fuck it pants or whatever and basically like he had fallen so many times it had like he still had a he had fallen so many times that he still had like a waistband and like the pants functioned somehow but he uh his pants 
calls in the staff. <laughs> no, no, his. He had no, a, I'm talking about your computer. <laughs> I don't know. Some. Man, what the fuck? It just did it again. Is this gonna show up? Is this messing up the mic? No, I, it's not even gonna record it. Um, so like, I think that that's just like my lisp doing it at this point. This is the image. Hold on. Um, so like, dudes, dudes' pants, uh, he could still wear them and they would stay on his waist, but there was a portion of the back. That was just like ripped away completely, and you could see his boxers yeah. underneath it. And he, my dad was like, nah, "Dude's ass is eating his pants, or some shit like that." And it's just like it's kind of funny to me. But let me see the image. I remember a dude. That one was on you at that point, man. No, it wasn't. I had nothing to do with it. No, that one was on you. You triggered Siri on that one. That one was me though, because <laughs> I literally said the name of the program. Let me see it. Jesus Christ. Oh, she literally was just like it looks stinky. <laughs> That's what mom would say. It looks stinky. <laughs> she does look stinky. Yeah, Azalea Banks overall looks like she doesn't wear deodorant. Somebody's like, I love that. You know that meme with the cartoon dude going? No, I don't know. You haven't seen that? <laughs> I don't know what it's called. It's like a reaction meme. I yeah. saw. I've seen it show up, and somebody's showing that image, and then the following is. <laughs> <laughs> nose nose clamp yeah situation yeah and um, I then like I don't know what she was on Snapchat showing her boobs for some reason oh that's cool and I was like it's so, like how your boobs stink is my <laughs> <laughs> like you seem stinky your boobs stink too <laughs> damn girl you got some smelly titties she's she's an ugly person I don't like her just like person ugly. yeah ugly uh, personality wise yeah like we're not we're not talking about her. Her looks are okay. Whatever. Don't, I don't, you don't have to. I don't really care either way. Yeah. Um, I'm going to criticize people's looks if I feel like it. Uh, okay, <laughs> For real, Azalea Banks is just like you know at this point I feel like she's starting these feuds and shit just to like maintain relevance. Exactly. She has like, no music that nobody wants anybody wants to hear. Nobody cares about her. Yeah, I feel like there are a couple of gay dudes. That, that stand for her. They have like some type of sympathy. Also, for she her. sells bussy soap. Is what they call it. Bussy boy pussy. The asshole. <laughs> is it for? Yeah, it's for. It's, it's soap for your asshole. Like specifically. Yeah. Is it just like really good for the tissue, or like is it just marketed that way? I think that's what it's for. Really. Yeah. Is this supposed? That's to what like, she's selling. Does it? What does it do? Is it like numb the I'm, butthole? I'm guessing it cleans your asshole. <laughs> but doesn't just normal soap do that? I don't know. Does it not do it well enough? I don't know. Maybe it doesn't do well enough, and so there's a reason uh, she's selling soap specifically for your butthole. What if somebody who didn't know how to use the soap just shoved the whole bar of soap <laughs> out their butt? <laughs> Is it doing it yet? <laughs> it's supposed to just clean it by itself, right? <laughs> Wouldn't it fall out? It would just like reverse fall out, right? It would, like, yeah. Or it fell in. <laughs> Wouldn't you get prolapse? And then get penetrated later, and like bubbles will pop up. Ooh, <laughs> what? <laughs> bubbles are pop- like <laughs> floating up. <laughs> He's got him by the got a meat handles or whatever. And it's just, <laughs> the meat handles. I don't know. And he's like. <laughs> He's thrusting, and then bubbles are popping up, and it's like, yeah. rubber ducky, or <laughs> so fun. The, uh, you know how, like, in cartoons, they would use, like, the bubbles that would stay on them to, like, censor their body parts? <laughs> that's what's going on. Like, it's just, like, a cloud of bubbles. And that's of- just, like, the permanent situation for that dude for life. <laughs> Why can't I see your genitalia? Oh, it's permanently covered by bubbles. <laughs> So he fucks this dude in the... It's a condition. <laughs> it's a rare condition. Um, so this dude fucks soap ass in the ass. <laughs> yeah. And then the Powerpuff Girl is forever covering his genitalia. Huh? Bubbles? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I watched a video where uh, some dude, one of the dudes from uh, Channel Frederator was arguing that Bubbles was the most powerful Powerpuff Girl. I thought it was the hottest. I was like, what the fuck are you watching? <laughs> no. 
they all look the same to me. <laughs> like, I don't see uh, the differences between Powerpuff Girls, but that's that's your way of coming off better than other people. <laughs> Instead of I don't see race, I, I don't see the differences <laughs> between the Powerpuff Girls. Also, I'm face blind to late '90s <laughs> cartoon characters. So, how the fuck did Professor Utonium just create these girls and they automatically turn white? Oh, yeah, it's true. Yeah, like what kind of shit is that, man? It's like they gotta be white. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's what that he got. Out. He got the white race uh, powder. <laughs> they, they they didn't put that in there. They put everything nice. Uh. It was it was sugar, sugar spice, but it was white sugar. It wasn't brown sugar. It was. It was. Sugar, yeah. If you like mix brown and white to different levels, it gives it different skin tones. You may get mixed. Yeah. Get sugar, spice, everything nice, nice. chemical X. X, which is the superpowers. Yeah. Uh, which apparently, uh, if you, it's like in the uh, revamped like artwork. Yeah. Section of the Powerpuff Girls. Um, there was a chemical W, and they had like. I'm only. Or no, wait, no, that's on the that's on the new show. That's on the new. Only new show. I'm talking. I'm. You only can, only the original. Do you consider only the original canon? Yes. Wait, are you when you say original, are you talking about the original like the Hannibal? show? The no, original no, no. show. Yeah, but there's the separation in artwork. Do you separate the artwork? No. Oh, so you can consider that all. Yes. The original first run. Yes. Okay. Okay. The original first run with gotcha. the original creator, not yeah. the revamp, because he's not even involved with the revamp. Yeah. So. Um, dude, uh, one of my one of my favorite cartoon episodes is this episode of Dexter's Lab, where these weird-ass robots, they have their entire story arc in this episode. <laughs> and <laughs> Do you mean the mechs? The what? The mechs. I don't know what that is. It's like anime term for giant robots. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, dude, actually that is also one of my favorite episodes, but a uh, different episode. <laughs> this is the one where the robots perform the, like, gotta ride that hog thing. Look that up. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, but that, the special, wasn't that like the hour long one? What? The one with the giant robots and shit? I don't remember. Or was that like the 30 minute one? I, d- I think it was a 30 minute. I don't remember. Uh, that one was also one of my favorite episodes of Dexter's Lab. Gotcha. Um, uh, here. This is, it's fucking great, dude. Ah, oh, what? This is long version remix. Uh, nah. Why are they using... Yeah. It's this, like, weird jazz blues Oh, thing. and that's clearly, uh... And that's clearly, uh... Uh, Bender's voice. Is it? Uh, it sounds like it to me. Is this a gay bar? It might Or just a biker been. bar. Well, they have women there, so... Well, no, it's, it's No, there's no women there. Bar. No, there's backup dancers. See? But they could still be, could be a gay bar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they they actually allow women to perform at gay bars, so yeah, it still yeah. could be a gay bar. Now I'm pretty well, sure it's supposed to be a biker bar, though. Yeah. Uh, but it's like, dude, it's like a whole fucking. It's but the fact that it's kind of disco-ish. Yeah, makes, makes me think, you think gay it's bar. Really, yeah. Well, also like uh, the shirtlessness and the yeah. uh, which Dexter's Lab did a lot of that shit. Yeah. So. Um, but it wasn't homophobic. I don't think. No. It's just like a, a tongue in cheek joke. Yeah. Kind of like the carpet munchers from Cow and Chicken. Remember they that? They were afraid of them? That might have been a bit oh, homophobic. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, because they, they were villains in the show. Yeah. yeah, you're right about that. I forgot about that, man. Cow and Chicken was a weird show. It was pretty much a ripoff of. Uh, Brilliant uh, Stimpy. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I never heard of that comparison until like real recently. But yeah, it's definitely... No, it seems obvious even the first time I watched it. Really? That it, that, that it was a ripoff of Rin When did you watch it, though? Huh? Did you watch it as a kid? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Huh. huh. I mean, I think I... Not the first time I watched it, but like, after I discovered what Winnie Stimpy was, I put two and two together. Yeah. It was like, this is clearly earlier before... 
before Cow and Chicken, mm-hmm. it's a ripoff. Well, the thing thing for me was is that I didn't know about Ren and Stimpy um, before. Like, I had no context of Ren and Stimpy. Yeah. Because I came along right after Ren and Stimpy. So, like, Cow and Chicken was original yeah. content to me. Because my parents didn't allow my sister to watch Ren and Stimpy. Yeah. But then I did watch the adult Ren and Stimpy as a kid. I think it's the first version of Ren and Stimpy I saw, yeah. too. Do you remember? I hated it. Really? Yeah. Media reaction. I was like, this is stupid. Was it just too raunchy, gaggy? Yeah. And yeah. even as I watch it as an adult, mm-hmm. it's, it's bad. still stupid. Yeah, it's stupid. Like, the original I don't was think funny, it, though. I, I liked a lot of dumbass raunch stuff when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. But even then, even as a kid, much, I yeah. recognized that this was bad raunch humor. It was just like, it was too edgy. It's like, oh, they're a gay couple. Oh, there's boobs. Oh, uh, This yeah. is legitimately boring to me. Yeah. How is boobs boring to, you made bo- boobs yeah. boring to a horny, like, <laughs> little kid. And I'm still. <laughs> uh, speaking of boobs, did you ever watch, it was during Spike TV's, like, animation thing. That's, that's uh, how I watched it originally. Yeah, but do you remember Pamela Anderson's cartoon? Yeah. Where she was like a crime fighter or whatever. Yeah. I remember my dad used to. Like I remember watch seeing that. A, gl- a glimpse of that and wanted yeah. to see it forever because so I could. Check. Yeah, dude, exactly. And like, uh, not jerk off to it, but just watch it because I didn't jerk off last seventeen. Really? Yes, legitimately, dude. Man, I watched I... porn for years. Really? I did not touch myself. Really? Until I was seventeen. Had you? Like, I'm gonna ask a personal question here, and you can you can you know answer it or choose not to. But had you achieved orgasm until seventeen? Hmm. Have you? Had you achieved? In my sleep, probably. Oh, okay. Um, see, like I do, I started masturbating at like eleven, man. A clock, <laughs> and never stopped. I'm Every doing it right day. <laughs> no, at like eleven or twelve. Do you remember G Four used to have that? Uh, that show where that black dude was like the only black G4 uh, anchor or whatever would go to like car stuff. Were you jerking off the cars? <laughs> no, they had like car girls with like skimpy outfits and oh, stuff. No. Um, or like there was this one time they went to a strip club or something. I don't know. No. no. I That's where I started. The earliest stuff that I knew, I was, just, I was watching purely for titillation. <clears throat> Was yeah. probably real sex on HBO. Really? Which I, I never had HBO as a kid, so I had it on and off when I was a kid. Yeah, it's every once in a while you would get like a free week of it. Yeah, and you would just like stumble upon yeah. it. That that's what happened to me. That's how I watched Flight of the Concords. Real Sex is um, a show that's legit about like different sexual subcultures. Oh yeah, no, I've seen that, but I saw it when it got syndicated. It wasn't meant to be just pure porn. Yeah, no. So, it, like, but that's what I was watching it for. Yeah, it explored sexual subcultures. And yeah. Stuff, yeah, and I was a. Uh, it was the toughest. It's the toughest thing that anybody could ever try to jerk off to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because it's like it again. It's like they would show nudists, but it'd be like real nudist. Yeah, forty-year-old couples. Yeah, like old people with sex. Not exactly attractive people. Bodies, yeah. Or, like, uh, I remember specifically, that's how I found out about, like... Sex dolls. That's really? how I found out about sex dolls. No, that's how I found out about... Uh, like real dolls and stuff. Uh, yeah, no, I know what you're talking about now. Um, but, like, the... Uh, shit. Uh, that's how I found out about, like, the balloon popping fetish. I had to, like, do rap hands for a second to get I learned about out. Splashing? Splashing? It's messy, like, food and shit. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, not mukbang, but, like, cake fart type shit? No. Sploshing. Just food and your sex. Like, rubbing food all over your body and shit like that. Like, like having sex and rubbing food? Yes. On your body? Yes. But it's, like, both? Getting food everywhere, yeah. During sex? Yes. Oh, uh, okay. Sometimes just, just naked bodies rubbing around in uh, okay. food. Uh, that's weird. Not and also, really, mukbang like, is literally people eating. Like, yeah, yeah. What's uh, cake fart? Cake fart? It's just, <laughs> it's exactly what it sounds like. Uh, it's predominantly women, uh, predominantly women with like butts that get focused on. Mm-hmm. Um, they don't necessarily have to have like what's. Are they just sitting on cakes? And then farting? Yes. 
Yeah, I've never seen that. Really? I've seen farting. Not seen they just women like sit on cakes. On the cakes and they sit on cakes and then they stand up and then they fart with the cake on their butt. Yeah, I've never seen that. Yeah, it's a thing, man. Uh, you can actually, you can probably find cake fart videos on YouTube, to be honest. That sounds boring. Look it up. <laughs> I knew you were going to say it. I don't know why I didn't just do it. Uh, apparently there's a song by Pootie Pie. Uh, here. It's just like sitting on cakes, man. Yeah, we should probably get this over with so we're not watching YouTube porn. Oh, they're wearing a thong. Dude, why is it taking so long? 13 minutes long, dude. Oh, I guess they like twerk. Is she singing? Yeah, actually. Is this performance art? Apparently. This is Brooklyn Dirty Book Fair, so it's like a sex fest. Yeah, that's what it is. I might actually watch it when I can. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dude, that's what that's what cake farting is. Uh, gotcha. Yeah, it's a thing. Um... Dude, I, like, I don't know, man. There's some weird shit. Also, get cake fart out of the search bar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Uh, but, dude, like, I don't know, man. I Did you ever used to, like, stay up to watch the uh, Girls Gone Wild ads? Yes. All the time. I yeah. used to not... I didn't truly understand that Kate Girls Gone Wild was porn when I was a kid. Really? I barely had a concept of what porn was. Really? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know porn was like 30 when I was a kid. <laughs> oh. So I would ask my mom to get me <laughs> Girls Gone Wild thing. <laughs> at Blockbuster or whatever. <laughs> Did you ever go into like the back room? We, and we went there once. Really? To get Girls Gone did your mom get you? No. Uh -oh. I got boat trip instead because they didn't have it. <laughs> wait, wait. You had to order Girls Gone Wild. They didn't have it at Bo Blockbuster. Wait, wait. So your mom was going to get you Girls Gone Wild? I don't think they understood what it was either. What? <laughs> they didn't see the t the videos. Oh. That's like crazy. Those. I thought everybody knew what Girls Gone Wild was. I got stopped as a kid from going in there. What? Uh, going into the back room. At a, at a blockbuster? Uh, there wasn't one at the blockbuster at our house. Yeah, I was about to say, there's no blo there's, there wasn't one at blockbuster. Uh, movie gallery, back yeah. when that was a thing. Yeah. Uh, they oh, had yeah, a back room. I remember movie gallery, yeah. <clears throat> they had a back room. Yeah. I got, like, stopped from going back there once as a kid. Oh. Uh, I tried to get my dad to rent Girls Gone Wild for me as a kid. Boat Trip was the movie that we did get. Because it looks slightly pornographic on the t it, it is. Loosely. It is. And it, it is. has... It's, it's it's a really bad movie, though. Yeah. It, correct me if I'm wrong, but that has the... That's the movie that Horatio Sands is ashamed, for, ashamed of working on. Hold on. I think we've talked about this, but... It, is that the... It's the same one... It's the movie with the same kid actor that played... Uh, There's no kids in it. But he was once a kid actor who had "You're Killing Me" Smalls as his line in Sandlot. The red-haired, freckled kid. He has a jerk off rag. I'm not sure if he's in it. I don't remember. <sighs> Dude, I think it is. I only remember the male leads, which were like, Bort, which were uh, the dude to play radio in Horatio Sands. Oh, yeah. No, we're thinking of two different things. Okay. What are you thinking of? I'm thinking of this. You're like, thinking of a movie it's, that has trip in it from the early 2000s. Uh, it may not even have it, but it does take place on a boat. Uh, I don't know what you're talking it's about. It's like the same type of movie. Yeah, this movie is about okay. Yeah, I've also seen Boat Trip. They with my dad. It's a gay cruise. Gay cruise. Fill um, a bunch of gay jokes. Yeah, and, and they have to pass as a gay couple. It's legitimately a bad movie. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Even if you ignore the problematic shit, which yeah. I can do easily. I can watch any movie and go like, okay, it's problematic, whatever. Yeah. Uh, uh, but like, I'm just watching, I'm like, just just isn't entertaining. <laughs> uh, like, this is not funny. Doesn't it, Doesn't he like skip his wedding or something? Yeah, he's skipping his wedding. That's why he go, goes on the trip. And don't they like smoke weed on a roof in like the first I don't remember. 20 minutes or something? I don't remember. Shit? I remember that. And Seriously, remember, you remember the parts of movies where people smoked weed? Yeah, that's man. that's bad. 
Look, dude. But, but it's like legit bad. You're like, oh, I remember this. Dude, <laughs> look. When I was a kid, I basically knew I was going to be... I would turn out as a stoner. <laughs> like, I knew it. Like, dude, I have been a stoner. You came out of your mom and were like, <coughs> day, Ma, I'm going to smoke weed to excess. Dude, like... So, when I was in... Dude, my fourth grade photo, I look stoned as shit. Uh, my fourth and fifth grade photos, I look stoned as shit. Wow. Like, my hair's messed up, my eyes are baggy and, like, buggy. And I'm like, like, stony smile shit, man. Uh, um, but, like, basically, yeah, man, that's uh, it's always been appealing to me. I, I've been a stoner since conception. Like, I was... Like, without even smoking pot, I hit all the tropes. Like, people, like, I was like, it was weird to people, even teachers, that I didn't smoke pot in high school. <laughs> like, they thought I was high, like, all the time, but I was never. And they, like, they were surprised to hear I did not smoke weed. Even making, like, genuine, like, it's cool, dude, I don't care. I mean, in high school, people thought, they were like, whenever I told them I didn't smoke weed, they were surprised. Not because I looked it or anything, but because of my general behavior. And like a lot my of very people. jokey behavior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was stony. Like I there was this one class, it was a uh, honors biology, and my teacher used to make a lot of corny jokes. And I'm a I, I'm a sucker for a good corny joke. Yeah, I love clearly. a good punk. <laughs> uh, and I would like whenever he would make one, I would be the one per- person to be like, heh. And that was it. Like, I would do that for his jokes. Just because, like, genuinely, like, I it deserved that for me. And no one else would laugh. Yeah. Um, so, like, yeah, man, I was just always... It was, like, destined to be... Ooh, I'm gonna do a joke. Uh, because of the Italian Banks, Lana Del Rey. Okay. I'm gonna sing it in the style of a Lana Del Rey song. Okay. Because I've heard a lot of the Ray songs. Yeah. I don't really like many. Yeah. But I'm going to try to, like, do her tweets about the, the rough, okay. about the, uh, Are you going to look Azalea? like a chicken wearing a dress? What? In the moonlight. What? What are you talking about right now? It's a vine. I'll explain after your joke. All right. I'm going to sing the tweets okay. in the style loud, all right? Got you. <laughs> Let me find the tweets. Hope she hasn't deleted them. Oh. Oh, I will say Lana Del Rey has mastered her musical aesthetic, though. Yeah, she's very good at what she does. Communicates a feeling of just privileged dread and suburban white girl romantic. Depression. It's like Americana romantic depression. Yeah, uh, stuff like that. James Dean boy yeah. type shit. Yeah, Coca Cola, Coca bottles, <laughs> Elvis Presley, Mara L- Monroe. <laughs> Did you almost say Manson? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe, the Hollywood sign. I jump from the Hollywood sign. Uh, bad diner food. You're <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you're uh, you're my bad boy, James Dean. <laughs> I still love you, but you hit me. Exactly. Yeah. He hit me and it felt like a kiss. Isn't that a that's, lyric? That's not a lyric. Uh, uh, that's a song. Oh. Uh, it's like a girl group song from the 60s. Oh. Uh, oh. Yeah. Whoa. Like proto-punk style or like? No. Uh, it's a, a genuine girl group song. Like a... It's been covered... But is it like it's been reinterpreted several hundred times? But it's a legit a girl group. But it like movies. originally meant like, yes, hitting me means you love me. Yes, really. Yes, Jesus, man, American culture is fucked. It's been done over. It's been done In, like reinterpreted. Yeah, it's I'm sure hella right. Analyzed was. like a lot. Yeah, I can't find it anywhere. Really? Yeah. No, these tweets are going back. Damn. I've gone all the way to 2017 at this point. Holy shit, dude. Hmm, probably. Damn. Aren't they label mates? Okay, here it is. Uh-oh. Tweets and replies. All right. Oh, uh, okay. Where's the pull-up tweet? I'm talking to my lawyer. <laughs> she threatened her. Uh, okay, this that that's Azalea Banks responding to Lana Del Rey's <laughs> pull-up tweet. Where's the pull-up tweet? I'm talking to my lawyer. You, you do this shit all the time, and now you're going to lawyers? 
Dude, For real? She's a child. She is a like, literal child. Uh, somebody actually fought me back. <laughs> like, you, you do this shit all the time, but now you're really going to be like, uh, yeah. I'm going to police. Yeah. <laughs> they threaten me. <laughs> you, do, you do this shit all the time. Yeah. It's your favorite thing. Yeah. Instead of producing music that's actually listenable, you chose being mean over a music career. Yeah. Which is somebody, somebody tweeted. They were like, <laughs> you do realize if you take a side in this, in this feud, you're either with the dirty old white girl saying pull up or the girl who chose being mean over a music career, which is true. The it's, internet girl that chose being mean over a music it, career. It's sad. It is. In all honesty. And then, this is her response. Tell him it's a promise, not a threat. <laughs> Hell yeah. Go Lana. Damn. Hell yeah, Lana. Lana about to throw soft hands. And then look at all these people in response. <laughs> Azalea can't afford a lawyer or a happy meal or a career or a bus ticket or toothpaste or soap or clothes. <laughs> she said she can't even afford her chickens anymore. Cause she like yeah with the, yeah with the killing. She loves animals. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, is that the actual photo? I don't think I don't think that's a chicken. I don't know what that is. Uh, but it looks like pork ribs. Yeah, from a distance at least. Is it weird that I know what pork ribs look like? She, or she can't afford to buy meat from the store, so she hunts them herself. Damn. Or pants. Oh, it's the. <laughs> it's the. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. That's that's legit. One of the funnier things on Twitter. On Twitter. Um, man. Uh, dude. I was just looking at my search searched uh, Twitter profiles. Uh huh. And it was uh, Bernie Sanders, your ex, and a lot of. <laughs> uh. Okay. That's mm. weird. What? That's weird. Yeah, Bernie Sanders would show up. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, man. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, all right. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, dude. So uh, the first, the first review on the Google search page for Boat Trip, the movie, says, no siree, this horse shit's getting nothing more than one star. This review has at least a little dignity left. That is, that is the first review, man. That is an achievement. Right older generation, older generations watching this movie might ask themselves if the ghost of Paul Lynn returned the right to innuendo heavy one-liners that never stop in this dated and cringeworthy comedy. Um, you know Paul Lynn, right? No, the voice, not the voice, the inspiration for the voice of Roger on American Dad. He was a gay dude from the seventies. Uh-huh. His entire shit was that he would tell like innuendos. Oh, okay. Like heavy, like gay in you windows, but it was yeah. the seventies, so he can never actually say it, but he can yeah. allude to his obvious homosexuality. Yeah. Um like he was on the original uh, Hollywood Squares, and that was his main thing. Okay. They like Paul and he'd be like I was riding on the back of <coughs> Tarzan's motorcycle. And that would be like the joke. Oh, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I can't remember the joke. Who's the big blonde gay guy who like did all the raunchy shit? He like had a I think Bruce Valanche. Yeah, yeah. Weird that you knew exactly what I was talking yeah. about. Yeah, uh, he was on Eric Andre. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. He was. Yes. Um, he seems like he'd be into Eric Andre though. Yeah. Um, what is there is a movie with um, the only like actor that is notable for me was uh, it was later in his career it was um. Shit, he was the original Honeymooner. Jackie Gleason. Yeah, Jackie Gleason. It was Jackie Gleason, and it was like a prison boat that these hippies took over. That sounds familiar. Look up Jackie Gleason. It's a... Boat, or... Um, it's just photos of his yacht. Okay. Weird. Then look uh, up a prison boat movie. Hold up. Uh, Smokey and the, oh, he's in, yeah, he is in Smokey and the he Bandit. Is. Um, wait, what's all do tonight? It's that's not the one. This is 42. This one was released in 69. Oh, 
Um, actually, 69 or 59? Um, I cannot remember here. Uh, where is Jackie Gleason? Jackie Gleason, Jackie Gleason. Jackie Gleason, Jackie Gleason. Here we go. Because I know it's going to be in his filmography. Like, in his late, late, late filmography. Uh, Carson in 85. Oh, uh, well, I guess it wouldn't be. That's, no, that's television. Oh, this Go is down. still television? Oh, yeah. shit. Uh, Skidoo. Just... It's Skidoo. Yeah. Have you seen this? Yeah. I've never seen this. I've actually seen it. Um, I watched it on cable once. Or we not on cable, do... but on like Showtime. We should do. It was pretty funny. This Generation Day, we should do this uh, Generation X, and then we should go back to Boomer movies. What do you? Uh, so part of me wants to say like, like hippie movies. Like I wanted to do like '60s hippie movies. Yes, yeah, what I'm saying. Those are uh, Boomer movies. Like uh, so, when we're saying Boomer movies, are we the hippies about... were the Boomers. Not all of them. But are are we specifically like limiting it to the boomer hippie shit? Yes. Okay, I'm down with that for sure. I like that shit. I'm also not super educated about that. Skidoo should be considered though. Have you seen it's a mad 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 world? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, it's a damn classic. It's legit funny. Um. No, I don't think I've actually seen this. Look at this. What? Which one? This this one here. This one? Because this, this clip's always funny to me. This one? Yeah. Okay. This is from the... It's in the Criterion Collection, yeah. apparently. Huh. There's okay. a scene in the movie... Okay. ...where we're introduced to a sort of hippie character. Uh-huh. Damn. Yeah, this movie is like what? huge, huge slapstick set pieces. It's great. Why did they destroy so many cars back then? You talking about? They, they drove a lot of cars off cliffs, man. In movies? Yeah. Cause it's always cool to see that. <laughs> okay, yeah. They still do it. <laughs> yeah. All these uh, people. Is that Andy Griffith? No. A lot of the people in this movie were like comedy stars of the day. Yeah. I sort of remember that dance though. Yeah, that and seems sure always like, funny to me. I feel like that dance has been referenced in other stuff. Ooh, that dude was the inspiration for the Nigel Dornberry voice. They just showed? Really? Yeah. Him. Definitely hear it. Definitely hear it. He just said bosoms. She just put keys in her bosoms. That's, uh... Fuck, what's his name? Uh, I don't know, man. Mickey Rooney. Uh... Was that before or after the drugs? After what? The drugs. I don't Wasn't that about. Mickey Rooney? Oh, Don Knotts? That's probably why you think... Oh, the three students were in it. No way. A cameo. Oh, damn. That's cool. This is one of my favorite scenes in a movie. He just completely destroys a gas station. It's uh, okay. great. Dude, slapstick back then was really good. They don't really do slapstick anymore. They still do slapstick, but, but not like to the extent of an entire. But ma- it's it's a mad, 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 mad world. It is like insane. <laughs> like, like what's the last movie that's whole appeal was slapstick? Most family comedies. I don't uh, think like yeah. that's legit. Most family comedies appeal. Uh, real question, and this may this is. Uh, if I would ever direct a movie, I want to direct like. A slapstick comedy to the level of it's a mad, 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 mad world. Because it's like the slapstick in this is still funny to me and insane. Like, Mm -hmm. it's truly insane. Yeah. Jonathan Winters, Mm -hmm. who was like a huge inspiration of Robin Williams, by the way, Mm -hmm. he was like known for doing characters and he was kind of always on. He also clearly suffered from depression, which. Which which is which sometimes landed have been in the the news. It's fascinating personal history, Uh, but. He, uh, like, destroys a gas station in the movie. Yeah. Because he was the big dude, by the way. Mm-hmm. Do you, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. He, like, destroys a gas station. And it's still one of the funniest scenes in the movie to me. <laughs> Put in Jonathan Winters destroys gas station. But, um, so, how do you feel, and, and there's a link between, like, the family movie slapstick here. Yeah. How do you feel about, um, shit, what's the name of it? 
uh, damn it, dude. It's the movie. It's Bonnie Hunt and um, shit, dude. How and how am I forgetting his name, dude? The jerk. Oh, you mean um, Steve Martin? Yeah, Steve Martin, Bonnie Hunt, Drake Bell's in it. The girl that was in Drake that Bell. Movie. Okay, not the jerk. No, not it oh, wasn't the jerk, but okay. it's that uh, something doesn't cheaper by the dozen. Yeah, the that's remake. It. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about that? I liked it as a kid. I haven't seen it since. Yeah, same. But I remember it being good. I remember this. We am I thinking of the first or the second one that I like more? Uh, there's the first and the second one. Then there's the one with the handsome dude that they live in a lighthouse. I like that one. Really? That's it's a different. It's them attempting yeah. cheaper by the dozen um what's the uh ba, 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 ba. actually wait that one's like two families joined together uh what's the um thing you wanted me to search Jonathan Winters gas station I just didn't want to type out Jonathan um for some reason, this scene actually reminded me of the jerk. This is actually a great clip right here. Don't look, don't watch it, but oh, okay. It's it's like oh, then just Robin Williams and his idol improvising together, and it's fun. It's just oh, like it's great. So, ooh, Volkswagen Bug, Cabrio. That's Phil Silvers. Actually, that's not a Volkswagen Bug. I apologize, all you car freaks. That dude with the glasses, that's uh, Phil Silver. It's also a comedy legend of the time. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> dude, what? Do you think hats were, like, more prevalent back then? What? Do you think more people wore hats? Yes. You just ripped the car door. People wore suits. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm talking, like, even, like, like dude's work hat. What? I'm talking uh, Jonathan Winter's hat. He's, a, he's like a, a working class guy hat. Yeah, but everyone in this scene is wearing a hat. Yeah. Is it just like a thing in the 60s? Yeah. People just wore hats? Yeah. No Businessmen wear hats and... It was just like a... St- like everybody wore a hat? Yeah. Weird. I couldn't tell you the last time I wore a hat. You're wearing a hat right now. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I don't even think I own a hat. Damn. I'm proud of you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> is there like is there a premise to this movie? Huh? There... Oh, it's uh they're all like searching some treasure. Oh, sort of like a uh, like rat racey. It's literally the inspiration for rat race. Rat race doesn't <laughs> exist without this movie. Really? Yeah, rat race is essentially a '90s remake. Oh, okay. Less funny. I like Rat Race. Yeah. It's just not as funny as it's a mad, 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 mad world to me. Well, I mean, it's a derivative. So huh? It's derivative, so. Yeah. You know, and it's like, it's a nostalgia thing. Yeah. Um, also, that that bill on his hat is real tight. Uh, the lift? Yeah. It is. I, I always think that that's a cool look. Yeah, especially if you can get... <laughs> it ain't gonna like, stay up, but... <laughs> if you can, like, get a graphic... Yeah. Or, like draw something on it. Like, you ever see the suicidal tendencies hat? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this film seems like oh damn has like a really good score. This had to be fun to shoot. <laughs> oh yeah. I would love to shoot or, something like this. Or probably a pain in the ass. Yeah. Like, what if you had to like? They would have to be really good at this act at like physical comedy. You know what I'm saying? Because you wouldn't have that many takes. People should say sore more. What? What do you mean, sore? What do you mean? Huh? What do you mean? He said, fellas, you keep this up and I'm going to get sore. Which means like, man. Oh, mad. like get sore? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I take that. Um, damn. Dude, I had a weird dream that involved you. Uh... <laughs> I can't remember what it was, but I feel like I had to, like, throw somebody. Huh? I don't remember what the dream was about, but I feel like I had to throw somebody. In a it. dream? Yeah. You had you a dream where you do somebody? Yeah, but you were in it. I don't know. It was like, we were trying to do something. 
I was in it? Yeah, me and you. We were the stars of this dream. I don't know what. I don't like, know what. We, it was like something. We went to do something. We were like struggling and ran into a lot of problems. And yeah. Like, like we had to hero up or something. Damn. You ever been thrown <laughs> through a window? This is insane. Yeah. Can we also just say that this is like really poor. Uh, Can we? This is some you really. You big lunk. <laughs> It seems like this gas station is yeah. the reason that there are like, uh, like standards for house building now. There's like, what? There's like codes <laughs> in house building, like, because that is some serious, some. Serious they probably thing. built this gas station specifically for the movie so they could yeah, destroy no, it. Yeah, no, of course. Like it's rigged, yeah, to be like capable of being destroyed that way. Same way, like the desk on Eric Andre. Yeah. Is made to be destroyed. Yeah, it's just, like, barely held together. Yeah. Like, if you lean on it the wrong way, it'll probably collapse, like... Or, like, uh... Like, wrestling tables. You know what I'm talking about? I wonder if it was stunt people. Some, yes. Some, no. I would say. In the scene. Back in the day, a lot of them did their own stunts. I would say some of it is. But like yeah. right there. That's gotta be him. Right here. Uh, where he's running to the truck. Also, look at the, the painting on the side of the truck. That's real yeah. cool. And then, does he pull the... Yeah. Yeah, he pulls the water tower down. Or he could just uh, left. <laughs> yeah, but well, you know. Pettiness, you know. Yeah, at that point. Fuck your gas station. Yeah, like, for real, let them get the insurance claim at that point. God know? damn, this shouldn't even have to happen. <laughs> this seems a cautionary tale. It's like, this didn't have to happen. I didn't need to nearly kill you guys and destroy your gas station. Damn. Also, uh, we don't see them again, so I wonder if they're dead. <laughs> probably. His kind of, his character's betrayed is kind of dopey, but kind of an innocent character, Jonathan Winter's character. Yeah. So I wonder if, like, uh, what if we made a murder of him, out of him halfway through the film? <laughs> Yo, money will do that. <laughs> it it really is about greed, getting yeah. the best of all the characters. I mean, that's what Rat Race is, anyway. Yeah, like, you know, it's a simple, easy trope. Uh, can you click on this? Uh, yeah, we're at one thirty though. This will be the last part. <laughs> okay, all right. It's just a lot of a lot of dead air. Now we're talking the entire way through. Yeah. This fucking dumbass fucking McDonald's commercials, man. I want a Popeye's biscuit now. <laughs> I don't know. Without why. water. <laughs> oh, yo, if they're fresh, you can do it without water. They're soft at the beginning? <laughs> yeah. And then they get kind of really dry. They put a lot of butter in them. He's talking about how much of an inspiration Jonathan Winters is to him. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Open with a Chinese uh, accent. Oh yeah, 1980s news footage is problematic. <laughs> Why is he talking to Obama? They do characters. That's what they do. <laughs> you just give him anything, yeah, and he would do. Tight. Oh, that's good. Bob. <laughs> this oh, isn't... no one can hear this. We got talk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this isn't funny. It's good acting. It is, but it's not. Oh, that's Bob Davenport. All right, now he's doing a black dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stroked him. And shafted him. I'm guessing. <laughs> Talking. <laughs> um. Hmm. So, That's 
crazy when people's and their main idols are like mirrors of each other so well yeah. in a disturbing way to the point where they die similarly. Like, similarly, yeah. Wait, did he kill himself? No, he died. He lived a full life and died, but just OD. Just huh? like, well, did he have the like? Well, no, I'm just I mean, I mean like behavior. Robin Williams killed himself. did kill, kill himself. Uh, after suffering years of depression mm-hmm. and stuff like that, yeah. Uh, Jonathan Winters also suffered from depression, yeah, and did and both had the Such talent for improv. Yeah. They uh, didn't die the same way, but still, it's, they, like, it's weird that that was, <clears throat> you know, very happy people that are extremely yeah. sad. Yeah, um, people that you would think are the happiest people in the world because they're so goofy and everything. Yeah, and that's just to get them through. Oh shit! <laughs> Yo, check out the what up with that ear thing? Did you see that ear thing? Yeah, I don't it's know. It's like what a clip-on earring around the brim of his ear. Oh shit! Oh, he died in twenty eight at twenty thirteen at the age of eighty seven. Damn, it's a long life, man. Yep, I don't want to live that long. I don't really care either way. Uh, as long as I can like have fun, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, you can really see like the hurt in their eyes. You know. Like, you, you, not like, and I don't mean that in a corny way, but you, like, look in their eyes and you can just see, you know, the, like, uh, uh, there's a, this weird glimmer in people's yeah. eyes that allows them to, like, to, <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about like burying people in his yard. Yeah. Why? Why would you own a tennis court if you look like you are way too out of shape to play tennis? <laughs> Just like they're like little kids, man. They are like little kids. Yeah. It really is. And he's so old. They're both yeah. so well, not Robin, but yeah, but like. Yeah. <laughs> when did Robin Williams die? Uh, a couple years ago. I want to say twenty seven. Was it twenty? It was twenty fifteen. Twenty fifteen. Was it? Mm-hmm. That's my. That's my guess. Senior year. Let me check. Uh, I will say that the day he died, I was watching the. I will. I woke up to that. Dude, you know what I watched the day he died? What? The episode he was in on Louis. It was on Glee? No, it was 2014. 2014? Yeah. Uh, the episode he was in on Louis. On Glee? Louis. Oh, yeah. I forgot he was on episode Louis. I watched that episode the day he died. Oh, dang. Before I knew he died. Dang. Like, I was talking to my sister about it. Or she sent me that as I was watching it. Or well, as I had just, like, gotten done watching it. And I was like, what sort the Sort of fuck? somber note. Yeah. This episode of... Uh, 2004. Has reached its natural conclusion. Yes. Remember, Lana Del Rey is the right one in this side of the <laughs> Azalea Banks Lana Del Rey feud. Yes. That will end in bloodshed. 2004. Like the East Coast, West Coast. <laughs> 2004 sides with Lana. Uh, uh, hashtag I'm with Lana. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye bye.